Hey there, I have here the A1 combo from Bamboo Labs. I'm gonna go ahead and test the power usage and see how much it uses compared to my other ones. I'm gonna say that it uses less because to me it is a smaller printer, more basic, but I could be wrong because it is bed slinger and it has to move the bed, so it probably uses more. But we'll find out, as you can see, the kilowatt meter is at zero because it is currently powered off. Just powered it on. This one will be using Bamboo Basic PLA Orange using the standard settings bed at 65 and the nozzle 220. As you can see, I'm fluctuating between six and seven. I do have an external light, which I will be turning on. Turning on the bamboo's own light, didn't do much of a change. Still, we're at seven watts. I'm gonna turn on the external. That one is connected to the printer, the external in the back. So that went up to 13 watts. So the external uses about five to six watts. Dang, I was not expecting that much. But it is a pretty bright light. So for the test, I'm actually going to leave the external light off because it does affect it too much. So I'm going to leave it as is. This is going to be the standard, what you would use if you don't have an external light. This camera is connected, but it's not connected to the printer itself. This is an external camera, so it does not affect the wattage. Okay, I will be starting the print right now. I am doing the flow dynamic calibration with enabled AMS. I will not be doing bed leveling. Same as my previous videos, I will be doing half a cube. Of course, this one does take longer than the rest of them, 24 minutes. We're at 389. Just started. Probably went higher, but I might have missed the initial power up. We're at 380. It's still heating up the bed. Hmm. So right from the start, it does feel like this one uses more power than my P1S. Drop down to under 200. So as far as printing, it seems to be about the same as my P1S. I'm sure this would be higher if I was printing something else besides PLA, ASA, which you might not be able to print on my A1, but PET G for sure. It does use higher temps, so that would definitely use more power.
Okay, we just finished. We're at 50 watts. We're finished. We're at 12, 12 watts. Just finished. <clears throat> I don't hear. Let's see. The rear fan is running. That's why I imagine it's still 12 watts. Cooling down the system. Temperatures are still a little high. I'm going to leave it there until the wattage drops. Okay, we're at 7 watts. It took about 20 minutes for the wattage to drop. And this is going to be standby. Five minutes, five minutes later, and the screen finally turned off. And now we are truly in standby mode. So we're at 6 watts. So the screen uses 1 watt of power. And I spoke too soon. It just went up to seven. So it's fluctuating between six and seven. So standby between six and seven watts. There you go. This is what the uh, A1 combo uses in regards to power. It seems to use about the same as my P1S, maybe a little less. So it confirms what I thought. It is a smaller printer, so it uses less power. Not by much, but it uses a little less. As far as having it connected to a UPS, depending on which UPS you have, 1500 volts, 900 watts. Even though this one did reach 380, 390 at the start, to be on the safe side, I would say no more than two of these. I kept my P1S and the A1 on the same UPS and I never had any issues. So I know for sure that can take it. There you go. Hope this helps. Thank you.